we're on. Hey guys. I didn't even know I hit the button. All right, so today is 72 of 100 ways to motivate yourself. And this one's beautiful. I hope this inspires somebody. This is just beautiful. So this one is actually titled Go to War. And I think that this is really gonna, this is gonna speak to somebody and I'm, I'm just hopeful that it's you. So without further ado, here I go. Hey Rose. Um, Anthony Burgess was 40 years old when he was told that he had a brain tumor and that his days were numbered. He knew he had a battle on his hands because he had absolutely no money to his name and he had a wife that he was going to be leaving behind. The death sentence brought about, brought out a dream that had been dormant inside of him. He wasn't a writer, but he knew what was inside of him. With death knocking at his door, he knew he had to leave a legacy for his wife. So he began. He began listening to what was in his spirit. And as a result, he manifested five and a half novels before the year was finished. Five and a half. He was never a writer or anything. He just completely pulled it out of his heart. Even more, it ended up that while he had this, had received this sentence, hi LJ, he had received this sentence of terminal brain cancer. After he finished the year of five and a half books, he didn't die of cancer. In fact, his cancer not only went into remission, but it completely disappeared altogether. And he's famously known for having written the novel, A, Clock, a Clockwork Orange. You probably have heard of that. Um, he went on to write 70 books in his lifetime. But without his death sentence, he may have never stepped into his destiny. Many of us are a lot like Anthony Burgess. We're hiding our greatness inside of us, waiting for some sort of an external emergency to bring it out of us. And if we don't pay attention to this sort of phenomenon, on how crisis can inspire our best efforts, we will brainlessly create a life based solely on comfort. Hi, Henry. Hi, LJ. We try to design easier and easier ways to live so that we won't be surprised or challenged by anything because we are creatures of comfort. We get stuck in safety. We start settling for mediocrity. The point is this. We don't have to wait for something tragic, tragic or dangerous to actually attack us from the outside. We can get the same vitality going on from challenging ourselves from within. We have the power all with inside of ourselves. A useful exercise for self-motivation is to ask yourself what you would do if you had Anthony Burgess's original predicament. Ask yourself this question. If I had just one year to live, how would I live this year differently? What exactly would I do? So this is my advice now, because I thought this was such an amazing chapter, you guys. So here's my advice. My advice is this. Seriously, ask yourself this question right now. I'm talking to you. And you're going to be like, yeah, I should talk to everybody else. No, I'm talking to you. Your whole life has led to this moment only to heed my warning. What if I was only born for this exact moment with you to watch this video? Your whole life has led you to this moment to heed this warning. You are dying. We're all dying. Don't die with your music still in you. If there is something you know that you were meant to do, do it. I did it. I took the plunge. I leapt and the net is appearing, you guys. I'm following my heart. If I can do it, you can do it. There's nothing that separates me from you. So if there's something inside of you, I challenge you today, get out there and follow that desire because that quite honestly is the reason that you're here. There you go. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.